All right, let's talk about love. Let's talk about it. Shall we? All right. To some people, the idea of waiting for marriage might seem a little bit old fashioned, but not Breland and Timothy Bowman Jr. The 20 somethings tied the knot earlier this month in Prince George's County, and they were virgins when they wed. And to prove it, Breland presented her father, Pastor Dr. Mike Freeman, with a certificate of virginity on her wedding day. Now, days after the nuptials, the couple's social media posts went viral, popping up on sites like Bossip and Media Takeout. And as you can imagine, those posts prompted lots of comments from supporters and critics, also known as Twitter gangsters and mm -hmm. social media gangsters. I'm sure they were hating <laughs> on Twitter and Instagram. The couple joins us now live to talk more about what we're calling the uh, purity, the purity pledge. Hey guys, we got some support and some welcome. Backlash. Good hey. to meet you. Congratulations, Freeland yes. and Timothy. Thanks for having us. Welcome. Congratulations on getting married. Thank yeah. you. She still has that newlywed glow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you, you do too. You, you do too. You we want to know why you got the glow now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want to tell you. <laughs> All oh right, so look, I want to know how, uh, well, you came up with this whole concept. 13 years old is when you decided to, to come up with this contract. Right. right. So 13, I was 13. We did a co um, covenant contract with my dad and with God. And I signed the contract saying that I would remain a virgin until I was married. So I've been doing this. Let me do this. Mm -hmm. Just you know, to get off your mic. Okay. okay. Been doing this for 13 ye 10 years uh, now. So to do this for 10 years, it's not something that just happened overnight. Right. Twitter just got wind of it and, you know, threw me off, threw the whole world off about yeah. what it is. So when I made this covenant, I told my father, okay, hey, when I find the man of my dreams, that's when I'll have sex. Wow. And 10 years and later, you don't know. <laughs> and all are very <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah, you need to record it and put it on a loop. Yeah. I'm sure you got some haters when you put this on social yeah. media. Haters or just people who don't understand. Mm -hmm. So it's like you have the both sides. So if people don't understand, of course they can attack something they don't understand. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, like we're choosing um, to not even look at it as a hater. Mm -hmm. You know, there are people who have different viewpoints okay. and different um, ways of looking at it, mm -hmm. and. Um, I like them to respect our views as I would their views. Right. We just right. disagree. Okay, mm -hmm. I have a question. Okay. So how long did you date before you got married? Three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. So at what point, <laughs> like, did this, and you don't have to say the exact time frame because maybe that's too personal, but, like, at what point did she present this contract to you, or were you always, were you kind of thinking the same thing ahead of time, or did she have to kind of convince you, and you're like, okay, that's a good idea, <laughs> Actually, or what are you thinking? No, that's a great question. Well. It goes back to my, my amazing wife. She is very um, forward. She's very um, upfront about what she wants. Like, what? How many 13-year-olds make covenant contracts? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's amazing. So before we even started dating, mm -hmm. we made sure our mindsets lined up. That's awesome. So I, my, my path to go to um, remain you know, a virgin, mm -hmm. and to keep my purity was a little different road than hers. Mm -hmm. She made the, um, you know, the contract with her right. father. Right. Mine was just something that I just wanted to just honor God and, mm -hmm. um, you know, just honor myself. But because same, same results. Though. Same results. And that's what we're trying to get yeah. people to see. You don't have to present a right. certificate. That right. was just my way to honor my but father. You did. What was your dad's reaction? He was so excited because it's not it's not nothing he required. He didn't ask, I need you to go, you know, and present mm -hmm. this. It was something because I kept my word and I wanted to show him that. Wow. I kept my word and this is what I did, you know, to show you. And it was my way to honor mm -hmm. him. And people are saying, oh, he required it. No, he didn't require it. And my sister, yeah. who was a virgin when she got married, did the mm -hmm. same thing. And she was an example for me. So now I can be an example for well, others. I, I think it's so important to have this message be out there, especially now where we, I think we live in this very hyper-sexualized society where everyone, everyone thinks you know, automatically, sex is the norm in every relationship. Right. Um, you know, I'm sure you've gotten people who said, thank you for being that example mm -hmm. that I can be cute, right. I can date someone who's attractive, and I don't have mm -hmm. to be in a sexual relationship with them, uh, you know, Absolutely. to make it yeah. a, a... Absolutely, yeah. and that's our whole goal, to teach people the, to the importance of virginity. Once you value yourself, mm -hmm. we know that value is the, in, um, the product of importance, interest, and information. So when you value yourself, you'll, you'll do, you won't do certain things. And I think we want to put a little spin on this whole um, campaign, protecting yourself and, you know, safe sex. You know, when you save yourself, you don't have to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, 
we, you know, you want to be safe and you want to protect yourself, but we're going to step further. Let's just save yourself until you get married. Right. And you don't have to worry about but it. But you all are in your early 20s, right? Yes. So you've gotten married. Late 20s. Yeah. Late 20s. Late 20s. Oh, <laughs> so old. Late 20s. Oh, yeah. Ooh, old man. Uh, but so you've gotten married relatively young. Right. So maybe saving yourself is, a, is more of a realistic thing to do. Mm -hmm. But in this day and age, there are a lot of people that get married a lot later. Right, absolutely. Um, do you still think that it's it's possible or advocated for anybody, no matter the age you get absolutely. married? Absolutely. I, I wholeheartedly believe that it's still possible for people to wear. I know a lot of people who are virgins, 36, 46, 50, um, and people have just been reaching out to us on Instagram saying, hey, I'm a virgin, I'm 42, and I still believe. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just different ways and different views. but. We believe if you value yourself, you, you can do it and make it happen. Well, if you ever question it, just look at the smiles on his face. Right? <laughs> can can we talk about the elephant in the room right now? now? So now you're married. <laughs> yes. Okay, can I go there? We are no longer waiting. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But if I can just say one thing, I think um, people look at how hard they think it is mm -hmm. to wait, but if we could just give some tips on how to do that. Please do, go ahead. Number one, she said value yourself. That's, that's key. So if I feel myself that important, let me save myself for the one that I want to get married to. Mm -hmm. And two, it's important, we yeah, found, to have a great team around you. Absolutely. Right. If you're surrounded around people who are making it hard and difficult for you to right. live that life. Because my father always said, hang with those who have your answers and get away from those who have Absolutely. your problems. So if you're with people who aren't going the same direction, mm -hmm. of course it's going to be, you know, mm -hmm. easier to fall. Yeah. But here was somebody who's committed. That's mm -hmm. why at the beginning I said, hey, this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. If right. you don't agree, mm -hmm. I'll talk to you another time. You know, or, right. but you make that stand in the beginning. How many times did, was there ever a time where you just had to, I just got to go home tonight. I got to go home. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> my fingers. I can't, but that's why you have that, you know, same thing, because it's like, okay, let's go, let's go, you know, you're generally going, but it's, you, you, it's not that we didn't want to have sex, because we were created, you know, that way, so we wanted to, but we had that accountability with each other and with others. I would call my mom, mom, I want to have sex. Um, what should I do? Okay, go home, get out the house, you know, or yeah. you got to make Turn certain... Turn the shower on cold. Right, <laughs> get out, get out of there. Cold showers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right, right, cold showers yeah. get you too. That's what my girl said. Yeah. It's usually 90, uh, 99% hot showers and 1% cold. For me, it's maybe 50-50. <laughs> Yeah, we forced us to be more creative too. Yeah. We we found fun things to do to kind of um, get our mind off of it yeah. because we realized that what you focus on will expand. Will expand. Aww. Whether that's you good or bad. You guys are amazing. Yeah. 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 Really you really are. My, your, your, your decision yeah. and, your, yeah. and your 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 focus. Thank you so much. And he would like you to sit Happy down with his kids life. and talk yeah. to yeah. Oh, right. 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 All of them. I, I see <laughs> big things to you guys. I, I see you. like the talk circuit, all yeah. that stuff. You guys are uh, awesome. Thank awesome. You so Great message. Thank you. Thank you. And we wish you many, many years of wedded bliss. Thank you. It looks you. like you're already on your way. Yeah. yeah. Bring the first kid on. Good day. Yeah. Well, <laughs> all right, guys. That's going to be a nine month. No, I'm just kidding. Okay.